Hey guys, this is Scott from Church Tech Talks. Hey, oftentimes when we're doing virtual sound check, we're doing it so we can dial in EQs, compressors, all of our settings on our channels. But what if you're using the X32 and M32 series consoles and you wanna get that multi-tracked audio passed from your computer through Waves multi-rack into your console? What do you do then? Let's check it out. So the first thing you're gonna need is to go to jackaudio.org. Now, if you click on downloads, you'll get to this page, and if you're using OSX, which is what I'm using, so that's what I'm gonna be demoing today, you go down and you download the binary of Jack2 right there. Once that's downloaded, we can click on that zip file to open it up, double click on that to install it. It's gonna say that it can't be opened because it's from an unidentified developer. This is something Apple did, so we just click OK, go into system preferences, Click on security and privacy, and you're gonna click open anyway. It's gonna say this is an unidentified developer, do you trust it kind of thing, yes, open. Uh, this is where you'd install it, follow the prompts. I already have it installed, so we'll just skip ahead. So once that's installed, let's go ahead and open up Jackpilot. This is the app we just installed, and we are going to start this server. Now once it's started, we're gonna go ahead and open our programs to play back our tracks, and I'm using Waves Tracks Live. So we'll go ahead and open that program up. And then I'm gonna to go to this recent session. I have a multi-track service from our Easter. This is what I like to use to train on. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. All right, great, that's open. We got our multi-track there. Now let's go open up Waves Multi-Rack. And I'm gonna go ahead and open that same Easter file that we had saved for that service. So now that we've got both of those programs opened, we're gonna to wanna to go into preferences and make sure that we have Jack Audio selected. So let's go on Tracks Live, click on File Preferences, and Jack Router is the one that is selected on this one. So we're good here. Um, if it's not, then you just change it to Jack Router and you're done. Now over in Multi-Rack, we're gonna to go to the same thing. Click on Multi-Rack Preferences, and we're gonna click our audio device make sure we select Jack Router here as well. Click Apply and OK. Now let's go to Jack Pilot and do all the routing. So if I select Jack Pilot here, click Routing, we're gonna have System, Tracks, and Multi-Rack on the left, and System, Tracks, and Multi-Rack on the right. Our System, this is all of our 32 inputs from the console. Our Tracks are all of our 32 multi-tracks and our rack is our 32 channels in multi-rack. Now if you look at multi-rack, I don't have 32 channels set up on there, I'm only doing eight. I'm only doing our vocal processing on there for this service. So I'm gonna go ahead and route the first 24 channels right from Tracks Live to the console. And the way I do that is I go to Tracks, I click on Out 1, and then I'm gonna go to System, and click on Playback 1, and I'm gonna hit Enter. And I'm gonna do this all the way down from one to 24. I'm gonna speed this up in post so it's less boring for you than it is for me. All right, so we just finished our first 32 channels. Now, let's collapse those. And what we wanna do is we want to now take our last eight and send them to multi-rack. So we're gonna go ahead and go to tracks again, and we're gonna to go to those last eight starting at 25, but we're gonna send them to multi-rack. And I'm gonna keep the numbers consistent here because that's what our inputs are over here on the multi-rack. So out 25 is gonna to go to in 25 here. And we're just gonna route those, those eight channels. All right, now we're routed into multi-rack. Now let's route from multi-rack back into the X32 or the M32, whichever you're using. So we'll go ahead and collapse that, collapse that. We're gonna to go to multi-rack 25. And we're gonna to go to system playback 25, enter, and we're gonna do this all the way down. All right, so that's it, our routing's done. So when I go and play this back, you're going to see that I have all the tracks playing back in both the M32 and I have audio passing through the multi-rack system. And this is how you do virtual sound check using multi-tracks to actually be able to dial in your settings on your multi-rack. 
So anyways, guys, that's uh, that's pretty much the whole video for today. I just wanted to share this cool tool I'm using and how to set it up because it doesn't come with a manual really. So it's a little bit confusing on how the routing works and how the setup all goes. So um, check it out. Let me know if you like it in the comments below or if you have any questions, um, I'll try to answer them all. And uh, otherwise, guys, I'll catch you next time. Be sure to like and subscribe to the page. Hit the bell so you get notifications when I post new videos. And uh, I'll catch you next time. See ya.